Hey, those of you watching know that I purchased a TI-994A to add to my retro collection. And one of the things that the TI-994A does is uses these solid state cartridges. But there is another device that promises 171 of these. 171? What's up with 171 on just this along with one of these? So we're going to take the flash ROM. We're gonna take our eight gigabyte SD card and we're gonna load on some ROMs or .bin files and we're gonna just see how well this Flash ROM 99 works on my TI-994A. Let's get started. I purchased my Flash ROM 99 from the Brewing Academy. Here we have the Brewing Academy website. Let's go ahead and click on over to TI-994A and see what they have available. They do carry other products for other retro computers, but today we are focused on the Flash ROM 99 cartridge for the Texas Instrument 994A. And you see I have several color options to choose from for our $35. I chose basic black. The Brewing Academy is not the original developer of the Flash ROM 99. That distinction goes to GitHub developer Endless 99, otherwise known as Ralph Benzinger. If you visit his GitHub page shown here, you can find all of the software and hardware specifications to create or build your own. And while normally I would go the route of creating your own, in this case, I chose the more expedient method, which was just to drop a credit card purchase and let them ship it to my house. Looking around the device, we have the SD card reader, we have a reset button, and we have a light. If we flip around to the back, of course, you can see where we would plug this into our TI-994A into the cartridge slot. We also have a beautifully printed, 3D printed Texas Instruments logo and the Brewing Academy logo. On the sides, not much of anything. This was printed using standard PLA and on the bottom assembled using these two screws, which we'll talk about a little bit later. I'm a little worried about those screws. Here you'll see the label that was applied kind of haphazardly or just not with enough adhesive. I think we should really do something about that Brewing Academy. Let's hope the label is not indicative of the rest of the quality of the hardware components. I can live with the label peeling, which I can fix that with a little adhesive myself, so we'll probably do that. But I'm more concerned about these screws and if they will scratch my precious TI-994A as I slide this into the cartridge port. And you'll see that little seam underneath. I'm not quite sure why there's that seam underneath unless that's to provide a little bit of relief as we insert it. So let's go ahead and try and insert the flash ROM. And it, the first couple of times, this thing is very difficult to get in. I will say, having done it a few times, it has gotten, ooh, that was a harsh click. And uh, let's see if we can remove it. And you can see it's kind of hard. You can see it's already starting to scratch up my PLA. But luckily, my TI-994A is intact without any scratches. Now, we need to find an SD card. I'm gonna try and find the smallest one I can, something around the two to four. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, is that a four? Nope, that's a 60. Oh, there we go. There's a four gigabyte. Let's start with that card. And we want to use the smallest card because it doesn't take a lot of room. So we're going to plug this into my Mac. We're going to go ahead and look at the contents, which there's nothing. This is already formatted in FAT32, which is what it needs. I did do a search for all the Flash ROM files. You can find that by doing a Google search. I will not provide that link because I'm just not so sure about the trademarks on this just yet. However, I have copied some of the bin files or ROM files over. And now what we're going to do is eject that SD card and we're going to plug that SD card into the Flash ROM 99. Nice solid click, I like that. And we're gonna plug this back into our TI-994A. And next thing that we need to do is turn it on. And you'll see that once we do that, we have the Flash ROM menu. And you'll see all of my games are loaded and as well as some other software besides games that supposedly are supported. Now you're not gonna to get too far with some of these cartridges because they require a 32K memory expansion, which I also purchased from the Brewing Academy. More on that in a later video. And once we have that up and running with our 32K memory, most, if not all, of these cartridges should work now. So let's go ahead and run through a little game demo starting with Parsec.
With Parsec working, let's try another game and let's try Blasto. So when I prepared my last SD card, I just haphazardly copied and pasted a bunch of files. This time I've pre-selected some specific files to play. After you've loaded one ROM, you need to function quit to restart the TI. You need to reset the TI-994 a flash ROM 99, and then you can select a new ROM. Use the common period to move up and down through your menus, and then use the associated letter to select a title. The next cartridge we're going to try and load is TI Extended Basic. Let's load it right up and we'll get our Extended Basic. Or we don't. Unfortunately, TI Extended Basic did not work with the Flash ROM 99. More research to do on that, but for now, we can always enjoy a game of TI Invaders. It seems most games are working, but I am having trouble with some specific application cartridges, such as programming languages, and of course, TI Expanded Basic. But back to our games, we'll try Beyond Space. Looks like Beyond Space is not much fun because it's a two-player game, so I need somebody else to play against. So the next thing we'll do is load up one of my personal favorites from the 80s, Donkey Kong. And it may be one of my favorites, but I'm not very good at it. So let's go ahead and move on to our next game, which is Stargazer 3. I didn't know where there was a one and two. Actually, Stargazer is not a game. It is an application to teach you about astronomy. So overall impressions of the flash ROM, not bad. There's some interesting quality concerns that I mentioned earlier, but you know, they're not bad enough that would make me not want one of these. There are other vendors besides the Brewing Academy. So if you want to go out there and look, and of course you could try and source this thing on your own and build it. So uh, other things is, you know, this is this thing is designed to just leave in the TI-99 4A. You don't necessarily want to be taking it in and out. I am concerned that these screws eventually are going to scratch. Uh, it hasn't so far, but I'm concerned it's going to scratch my TI-99 4A, but it hasn't so far. But I plan to just keep it plugged in, and then whenever I need to update, I'll just pull out the SD card and I'll update the SD card. That seems to be the best way to do this. For that, is it worth the 35 bucks I spent? You betcha, I think it's great. It does add that quick access to those cartridges that you want if you really wanna enjoy retro computing at its finest. I will say that there is another device called the Final Grom 99. Everybody, I know it's out there. Uh, I know people in the chat and in the, in the video description and all that business down at the bottom, y'all are gonna say, hey, why, why, did, why did you choose the Flash ROM 99? Why didn't you just go the Final Grom 99? Because originally I didn't know if I had the QI version of the TI-99 4A. Not sure what all that's about. Check an earlier post. There'll be a link down in the video description. But there was a version of the TI later on in the development cycle 
that would not use one of these. And luckily I didn't have that version, the QI or quality uh, improved version. So what do I think about the Flash ROM 99? Well, I dig it. I think it's really a great option to have if you own a TI 994. Other than just some of the little quality nitnoid things I, I uh, uh, described a little bit earlier, it's it's well worth the $35 if you're a TI user. And it does uh, work with most ROMs, all the game ROMs I've worked. The only ROM I've had some problems with is the TI Extended Basic. I couldn't get that to work with this. It could be a feature that does not work. I'll have to research that a little bit more. Or it could just be that I need the final GROM 99, which is the next kind of evolutionary cycle of this. Go ahead and check that out in the uh, video description below. Hope you enjoyed this kind of quick and dirty uh, fast load retro combs where I take a look at the TI-99 4A Flash ROM 99. Uh, that's a lot of 99s in there. So thank you for watching. And if you have questions, there will be a companion blog post where I'll put some additional information. You can post comments below that companion blog post. You can, of course, post your comments down below. Uh, while you're down there, go ahead and like, subscribe, do all that business down in the bottom. And don't forget to support the channel. You can do that now as well. We've got lots of different ways to do that. You can buy me a coffee, which is a popular way to support the channel. So I can bring you more TI 99 4A content. And don't worry, folks. I'm coming back to some Mega 65 content, so it will be back soon. So thanks for watching. At this time, Retro Combs out.